not the only deadly widow. That's how this video starts, and it immediately makes us think of the famous Black Widow. What's all the fuss about Black Widow anyway? T seriously, what's the hype? So let's start our journey right away. Let's meet her female cousin. This is a new species of giant button spider. Finda button spider. It's been given the scientific name Latrodectus antheratus. And for now, it's only known from a single location in South Africa. It was discovered by a team of scientists led by senior author Dr. Daryl Gwynn from the University of Cape Town. And since then, this amazing creature has become the new record holder among widows. At least when it comes to females. Yes, this beauty reaches up to 30 millimeters. And that's more than an inch long. For comparison, the male is only 9 millimeters long, which is about half the size of a US dime. Can you imagine such a huge spider? Well, if you can, I encourage you to look at the photo closely. Pay attention to the details because this widow has a lot of surprises in store. Her body is glossy black, shiny like a beetle's, and there are exactly two blood red stripes on it, one on the back and one beneath the belly. The defining characteristic of a black widow spider is the red hourglass shaped marking on its abdomen. Similarly, the Australian redback spider is identified by a prominent red stripe on its back. But wait, did you know the recently discovered Finda button spider boasts a truly unique marking, completely different from its Black Widow and Redback relatives? Take a look, just got another surprise. In fact, even the egg sacs of the Finda button spider are shocking. They're a bright lavender purple color. Typically, the egg sacs of widows are white or yellowish, so we have a large female with two red stripes and purple egg sacs. What else do we know about her? Well, of course, like all other members of the genus Latrodectus, the Finda button spider carries a powerful toxin called alpha latrotoxin. It can disrupt the functioning of nerve cells. If this toxin gets into the human body, it can cause excruciating pain, paralysis, and even death. In theory, sure, but in reality, there haven't been any recorded deaths from a Finda button spider bite. Maybe they're just too big to sneak up on their prey. Or perhaps they're shy and like to keep their distance from people. Anyway, the spiders don't attack people unless they're provoked. So if you don't go out of your way to make an enemy of a spider, you probably won't have any problems. If threatened or accidentally touched, a spider will bite in self-defense. And despite the fact that these spiders are quite large, it's extremely difficult to notice them in nature. The color of their bodies allows them to camouflage perfectly against the dark bark of trees. But even the most skilled masters of disguise can sometimes be seen, if you're lucky enough to take a picture like this one, the photo shows a female Finda button spider sitting on the ground. Check out how perfectly her black body blends in with the dark tree bark. These spiders have been named after the place where they were discovered, a Finda forest reserve in the northeast of South Africa. The reserve is home to a wide variety of plants and animals and covers an area of over 30,000 hectares. It's an important center for the study of biodiversity in South Africa. And it was here that this particular species of giant spider was discovered. Scientists believe that the Finda button spider could actually be the largest of the widow spiders that have been recorded until now. In the past, when it came to remarkable spiders, the Brazilian wandering spider was known as one of the largest and most venomous predators in South America. With a body length of about 5 centimeters, this spider impresses with its powerful venom and agility in hunting. However, when it comes to the largest size in the spider world, the Brazilian wandering spider is not the undisputed champion. In reality, there are much larger spider species that have been discovered and surprisingly evaluated by science. Among the most notable is the Finda button spider, a widow spider species officially described in 2019. This spider was found in the rare sand forests of South Africa and was quickly recognized as the largest widow spider ever known. The size of the Finda button spider surpasses many other widow spiders raising the thought that the spider world still holds many secrets yet to be fully uncovered. Expanding the scope, the largest spider by body mass and length is the Goliath Burditor spider, Therifosa blondi. These giants can grow up to 13 centimeters in length and weigh as much as 175 grams, making them true giants in the invertebrate world. Meanwhile, the record for leg span belongs to the giant huntsman spider, Heteropoda maxima. Discovered in the tropical forests of northern Laos in 2001, this species boasts an incredible leg span of up to 30 centimeters, slightly longer than that of the Goliath bird-eater spider, 
although its body length is much smaller, measuring around 4 to 4.6 centimeters. From the discovery of the Finda button spider to the enormous diversity and sizes of other spiders, scientists increasingly realize that there are still countless giants hidden in the spider world, mysteries waiting to be unveiled through future research and exploration. But the thing is, apart from the size, the Finda button spider differs from all other known species of widows in several other features. The first thing that catches your eye is, of course, those two red stripes. All other species of widows have only one red stripe. Also, all species of widows have a single pair of large spinnerets at the end of their abdomen. But the Finda button spider has three pairs of spinnerets. Two pairs of small spinnerets are located at the base of the abdomen, and one large one is in the middle. There hasn't been any explanation for this feature yet. Another interesting feature of the Finda button spider is the structure of its fangs. Most spiders have four-sided fangs, but these spiders have five-sided ones. Interestingly, all species of widows have a very similar structure of their fangs, but the Finda button spider is an exception. In addition, its fangs are longer than those of other spiders. Scientists believe that this adaptation could be related to the size of the spider. The mechanical properties and microstructure of spider fangs provide them with the necessary strength and hardness to effectively pierce and inject venom. Now, as for the duration of life, nothing concrete is known about it. However, we know that most spiders live for no more than a year or two, but the Finda button spider is likely to be no exception. It's like most spiders, these spiders are predators. But they feed mainly on insects, catching them with their webs. The web is a tangled mass of threads that serves as an excellent trap for insects flying past. When an insect collides with a web, the spider quickly immobilizes it with its venomous bite and then wraps it in silk threads. After that, the spider injects a digestive enzyme into the insect's body and sucks the resulting liquid. And as for reproduction, females of the Finda button spider reach sexual maturity at around eight months of age. Males mature faster and reach sexual maturity at around six months of age. During mating, the male approaches the female and begins to dance before her, trying to attract her attention. If the female is interested, the male mounts her, and fertilization occurs. After fertilization, the female starts building an egg sac to lay her eggs. Unlike popular belief, she often survives after laying them, and may stay to guard the sac for a while. The male is often eaten by the female, or dies after mating due to injuries such as pedipalp rupture. However, it may survive and escape if it is lucky. However, little is known about the specifics of reproduction in this species of spiders. In general, scientists still have a lot to learn about these creatures. The thing is, until recently, it was believed that all species of widows had already been described and studied. However, the discovery of the Finda button spider proves that this is not entirely true. It is possible that in the near future, scientists will be able to discover other species of giant spiders, which will make us look at nature around us in a completely different way. After all, we still know very little about our planet. Who knows what other wonders of nature are yet to be discovered? It seems that we will never stop being surprised by nature's tricks. And who knows, maybe one day we all even come across a relative of the Finda button spider that esks even bigger. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends. See you later.